over on the far side. We can kind of use reference points with the yard markers that are here from, but appears to be okay. No puddles or anything like that. Misting rain consistently today. The other football that's played here at CCS. Yeah, it's a wet turf, still with possession. Zaguro looking to throw, finds a partner in Malefi, and he'll send it all the way back, and they will regroup with Andrew Mullen with his first touch. To Castanera. Castanera looking toward the center line, headed by Dixon deep into ATL utd 2s offensive zone. Give and go with Doyle. Working with Mare, ball deflected up into the air, high header, joust one by ATL UTD2, but they can't keep possession. After a bit of a scrum, they will come out with it, though. Coming forward, Waleffi on the guard, and the pullback, but it ends up going Red Wolves the other way. Fourth minute here at David Stanton Field, ATL UTD2. And Chattanooga Red Wolves here. Thanks for hanging out with us on soccer down here. Play by play in the afternoon from the scenic city. Stephen Beatty, the captain for Chattanooga, pounces in, wins the pass. Well, back and forth with Alessandro Castro about who's tugging whose jersey. Free kick for the Red Wolves. Double pat on the back by the both of them, understanding what's going on with Beatty and Castro. All the way back, Andrew Mullen. And he'll go all the way back into, into the box with Alex Mangles. Too much on that one, so it's going to be a throw right on the edge of the attacking third for ATO UTD2. And we'll work it all the way. Just outside center circle, Tyler Ruthven sending it forward, chested down. Jackson Conway tries to slide to keep possession. It's going to come back Red Wolves' way. On a bit of a break, but Ruthven there to guard off. Back to Castanera. Good feet from Castanera. Ruthven, the veteran, read that well, cut off the lane. Played it back to the rookie goalkeeper, who handled it very well. First touch right back to Ruthven, away from trouble. Ruthven sends it all the way across. Kendall Edwards on the ball now. Atlanta United Academy product. Spent some time with the first team in preseason. Castro on the turn to Anderson Asayadu. Looking for Jackson Conway, too much there. Red Wolves now will have it. And Sione coming with it. Just outside center circle in possession, Walefi. Possibility to get grabbed there. And Ponsa working with Moulin. Is it the front? Beatty sending it to the near side and Richard Dick. Middle and Beatty with a rip from about 25 yards over the crossbar. First key chance of the match so far. In the eighth minute now. And thanks for hanging out with us. If you've got any questions as we go forward. Go ahead and tweet at us at Soccer Down here. We'll answer them as we go as best we can. Trying to balance broadcasting and handling Broadcasting, tweeting, media. and identifying players without numbers. We're yeah. doing our best. Yes. Luis Fernando leaves it off for Will Vent. Kendall Edwards now swings it inside. Pressure from Chattanooga. Nice defending there by Waleffi. It'll be a throw in in the attacking third for ATO UTD2. As we're here in minute number nine. John Gallagher, last year's first round pick in the Super Draft, drops it back to Kendall Edwards. Asayadu in the middle. Attacking side of the center circle, looking for a partner for a pass. He's got space to work with it. Lays it off right foot side. Atlanta starting to find a rhythm. Luis Fernando floating out wide. Sometimes it's Conway who drops in to get in possession. Asayadu sitting in front of the back four, and beyond that, it's very fluid for Atlanta. But here comes Chattanooga. Sione, nice little ball off. Tried to play it up line. Looked like it could have been a handball to keep it in, but Chattanooga keeps possession and scores into the far post. As a partner, about 35 out, headed down. Ruthven with it. So now here in the 14th minute. 
Doolin tries to complete a pass picked off by Castro. Castro back with it. Trying to dribble out of trouble, and he does. Asayadu's with him, but he ends up sending it over to the far side. Sioni on guard, so Asayadu back with it. Finds a partner in Castro, sending it forward. Pereira looking to drive. Sends it in with the left. Easy pickings for Mangles. See the 1v1 ability from Dion Pereira on display early. Two defenders close him down. No hesitation. He gets some space, puts in a left-footed cross, just not far enough away from Mangles. Moulin and Mangles playing catch. Pursuit by Jackson Conway. Sent forward with the left. Seguro couldn't Out. keep it in. It's going to be a throw in the attacking third, or they call a whistle and a foul? Throw. Throw for John Gallagher. About 40 yards from goal. Gallagher sends it in. ATO UTD 2. Ruthven center circle. Back now. What Ruthven can do, tries to send it with the left. Pereira tried to flick. Castro's going to have to chase. Red Wolves end up with possession. Beatty coming up to center line, lays it off. Red Wolves with the one nothing lead. Had met because a partner couldn't get it to him, so he sends it to a Sadie, center circle. Vint tries to send it in heavily, sent back to him, and they'll reset offensively in the attacking third far side. Drive with the right foot, laid off, cleared nicely by Amponsa. Luis Fernando cut it back, trying to pick out Jackson Conway at the top of the six, cleared away, and here come the Red Wolves. No whistle there. They're going to let that one go. Asayadu wins the tackle at about 20 yards from goal. Lots of complaints, no whistle. Castro and Captain Jack playing catch. Castro sends it with the right all the way over to the far. Big hop off of the turf here, David Stanton. And Zaguro is in a bit of a joust. Now it's Walefi's turn. And it looks like it's going to be a throw for the Red Wolves in the middle third. So far from Atlanta, we're seeing Will Vent cut inside quite a bit. Very confident on the ball, not afraid to look for the killer pass, not afraid to control it in traffic. It leaves a lot of space for John Gallagher to get down the right side. Stays back, in. Back heel kept in play. Opportunity for Red Wolves. Nicely done. Coming back to make sure that nothing came of the opportunity. Flag is up. Touched off, off offside, just outside center circle. Metcalf cuts in front of Connor Doyle in the 18, then clears it away. But Jackson Conway offside just over the midfield stripe. Moulin and Amponsa chased by Jackson Conway. Luis Fernando getting engaged. Back to Amponsa again, all the way back to Mangles. Pereira chasing the opportunity. Over to Amponsa in the far corner. Almost looked like it left the pitch, but they say it stayed in. Right hand, right foot, all the way over here to Dixon. Far side, a lot of room to run. Chattanooga handles the press from Atlanta really well there. No foul. Tyler Ruth then steps in front of Beatty, wins the challenge, and now a say adieu to Vent at midfield. And for Luis Fernando gets punched from the back, forearm clear out, and they do call a whistle there. That's called a receipt, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. That's the play was getting very chippy. Lots of solid contact from players all over the field. Definitely the way to use it. Solid contact by Zaguro there on the whistle. Luis Fernando feels it. Zaguro sending a message to the referee and to Luis Fernando and to the rest of the Atlanta players. It's a friendly, but it's not that friendly. 18th minute, one nothing Red Wolves here. Vint and Fernando. Castro called for it, sends it over here. Big switch. And Metcalf trying to get past Dixon. Dixon kind of holding up, and they're gonna looks like they're gonna call Dixon. Metcalf's gonna want to do a quick reset, but then he thinks about it and sets it down for a set piece. Dixon claimed that Metcalf had his shirt. Dixon 
Gave Metcalf the Heisman a little bit, pushed him off. Referee calls the push. Just outside the box, probably about 22 yards out. After Zaguro with a strong tackle just inside his own half, wins it, then sends Mare in, who cuts it back, and Sione shot with the left foot wide of the far post. Good break for the Red Wolves. In the offseason, it looks like Kendall Edwards has uh, gained some elevation with the height. He's a little taller and a little bigger than he was last year. That's what happens with those academy guys. Lefty wins the joust with Castro in the middle third. And a whistle there. Will Vent commits the foul on Beatty. Tried to do a quick reset there. Ref wouldn't allow it. So it looks like it's going to be 35 yards or so for the set piece for Red Wolves. Sioni directing traffic. So is it going to be Sioni or Walefi? Or Zaguro, three of them hanging around the ball right now. Looks like it's going to be Zaguro with the left. Wondering about the wall. A referee asking him to go backwards. Dion Pereira took a couple more steps forwards as the ball rolled forward. Zaguro with the left, sends it in. Castanera comes up big. Another opportunity, but the flag is up. Big right-handed save from Dylan Castanera getting down. Beautiful free kick from Zaguro. On the second attempt, Chattanooga offside. Castanera saved that one sprawling to his right again as well. 22nd minute. Still one nothing off of the goal in the 12th by Juan Mare. ATL UTD2 tries to send it long. Nobody there. And so Mengels ends up with it. And they'll reset with Mullen. About 30 yards away from goal now. A lot of space for him to dribble. He'll end up middle third with it. Sends it forward with the right. Ruffin's going to get there first, it looks like. He's going to try to let it go out of bounds, but it will not. Beatty saved it. Yep. Opportunity there. And it looked like Mare was trying to create with it. He touches it last. It goes Mare spinning and falling on the end line, trying to keep that in. He can't. Yep. Goal kick by Castanera to Aseadu right in the middle of the field. Metcalf, middle third, a lot of room to run. Pereira and back. Castro sends it over to Kendall Edwards. Edwards to Aseadu. Vint. Three Red Wolves kits around him trying to send it forward, but it ends up going with Red Wolves trying to get out of the jam as Zaguro. Walls is back there with him, but they're going to send it back to Amponsa in the far corner. Trying to get out of, once again, the jam turned over, picked up by Vint, looking for Castro in the middle of the pitch. Castro closed down quickly by Connor Doyle checking back, and Chattanooga now in possession down the right side. Dixon... Pereira on him. Malefi sends it long and forward. Great backtracking by ATL UTD2 to make sure that... have one team in Chattanooga that's building a team from scratch. You're trying half Atlanta looking to build up an attack. The say it Connor Doyle and Walls marked by Vint and Ponsa marked by Conway. Zaguro and Ponsa going back and forth, dangerous passing here, and Ponza had it a little room to go. But look at Anderson Aseadu getting involved, and a lot of work, and a lot of space there by Metcalf to get engaged. Metcalf, about a 40-yard run diagonally across the middle of the field. Now he's involved in this attack down the right side for Atlanta. Castro called for it. Well, Leffy got in the way. Luis Fernando... Wins it back. Aseadu in the middle of it all. Lost possession and the Red Wolves on a bit of a break. It's two on four. But circle and Andrew Mullen. Clear it. Relieve the pressure for Atlanta. Now it finds its way back to Castanera. Plays it short to Edwards. Pop from behind. And they're going to call a whistle on Beattie there. 
Beatty, a little bit high of a boot there in the outside of the second half for Atlanta. ATL UTD2 is asleep. Doyle sends it to Dixon now. As they're getting into the attacking third, sending it down, looking center pass, and both whiffing on it, Dixon and Asayadu. Asayadu got a touch, he got enough, knocked it away from Dixon. Sent all the way back in, and Ampansa, center circle. Now it's Doyle. Doyle and Dixon interchangeable down the right side for Chattanooga. Doyle primarily has played as a, as a center forward in his career in England and in MLS. On the right wing here, but he's completely comfortable dropping in and covering right back when Dixon gets forward. And Ponza sending it to Sioni. And then over the top, it was some arm grabbing there with Mare and Kendall Edwards, ATO UTD2 coming out with it. Edwards is going to win that battle every time. <laughs> Very strong. For B in the corner, saves it right foot. Trying to get out a last touch by Red Wolf, so it'll be an ATO UTD2 throw. Ends up with Metcalf, Asayadu, and all the way back to Ruthven in the middle third. Ruthven and Edwards just inside their own half, swinging over to the right to John Gallagher. Edwards, center circle of Sayadu, give and go. And all the way back now, Edwards to Castanera. Trouble with it is Sayadu at his back. D2 cannot keep it. And Doyle in the middle. Heavy Pastro approaching center circle. Back and forth. Thicks with Mangles. Nicely done to defend it. Throw about 40 yards from goal. Metcalf intercepted the idea, which created the throw. Now back and forth with now Jackson Conway looking here at the near side. So Doyle nicely done to shepherd it away from Pereira. Doyle, the former Darby County man, showing lots of quality so far today. Zaguro over at the far touchline. And the physicality continues. It's probably the best way that I can describe what just happened. Whistle blew early. Believe it was out over the touchline for a throw. No foul on Zaguro. No, it is that throw. Zaguro continued with Gallagher. Now Atlanta will take the throw 20 yards from the But back to Kendall Edwards. Tyler Ruthven. Looking for opportunities, and then he has to send it back over far side to Kendall Edwards to start it up. Conway gets his pocket pick, center circle. They're trying to send Doyle forward, but it looks like backtracking will be Jack Metcalf to get there first. Back to Castanera. Now Castanera looking for an outlet, finds it in Ruth and Ruthven quickly to Metcalf to reset. Gets by Moulin. Conway keeps it in down the left. And that was rough challenge by Moulin there. And Moulin will get a yellow at just under eight minutes to go first half. We near, blind him, back tracking. Walls ends up with it about 40 yards out, give to Walefi. Pereira tried to clear it, ends up with a couple of heads. Asayadu will chest it down and settle. Good switch from Anderson. Asayadu down the right side to John Gallagher. In some traffic, that's what Atlanta liked about Asayadu from the MLS Combine. He's very comfortable distribu distributing the ball. That time, knows Gallagher is open on the far side and puts it right on his boot. Excellent vision by Asayadu there. He does. Dixon looking to send it in with the right. Picked off by Asayadu. Castro. Gallagher. Ruthven. Sending it forward with the right. Castro involved all the way over at the far side now. Gallagher. And they're going to try it again. Kendall Edwards standing up. Cito Sioni. And they're going to call a foul on Edwards there. Honestly, I'm fine with that from Edwards. The academy player. That time he is beat. Cleared. Trouble. Good from Castro. Heads it back to Jackson Conway. Castro had no chance to head that away. If he tried to head it away from goal, there were three Chattanooga players on the edge of the 18 that would have pounced on it. Saw what he had around him, headed it to Jackson Conway, who cleared. Good decision under pressure from Alessandro Castro. 
Zaguro drifting back this time with Amponsa chased after and out of and all the way over to the far center line. Walls. Dixon on the overlap is there, but Doyle got there first. Nice crescent kick sent to, to Dixon. And a right complete just missed. Nicely done by Beatty. Stephen Beatty's going to be a fan favorite here in Chattanooga with the Red Wolves. You see it there, the leaping side volley out to Dixon, completely under control with the pass, then makes the late run, receives it from Dixon, is shot just wide of the far post. Beatty's been very active in the attacking half so far in the first half. Coming up on two minutes to go, left here in the first half. And all the way through, a lot, through a bunch of bodies, but Amponsa gets there first as it looked in Jack. And we've got a whistle. Offside. Offside. Atlanta struggled to connect to create scoring chances. Chattanooga so far looking pretty good. Pitch and catch with Walls. Will Effie coming near side to far to Amponsa. Will Effie thought about sending it deep with the right. Now it's just Walls and Mullen trying to go back to Alefi, middle of the center.